thousands of entries, just 20 artists were originally shortlisted for the four new sensations exhibition. And from these 20, just four have made it into the final. Each of the finalists was awarded a thousand pound bursary to make a new piece of art. And that's what they're showing us tonight. What does it mean? What does it mean? Mark Davey, Slade School of Fine Art. I want to take the, the lights and use them in a kind of a extraordinary, extra, extraordinary way. And, um, and use them in a way that you really wouldn't expect. But I think movement is important though because of the repetition. And I find the repetition incredibly frustrating. Um, you, always want it to, you always want it to go just that tiny bit further and just for the two light bulbs to smash or the steel to, to poke the chair so it falls over. But it never quite does. Um, I find that really frustrating, but at the same time, uh, fascinating. I really like the contrast between the really old, frail-looking rocking chair and the, the new uh, steel machine. It's really, like, quite literally industrial versus the handmade in that piece, uh, which I'm really pleased with. And the metal spike as well on the end, it just touches the rocking chair. I chose to use the spike because it looked so, so aggressive and so violent, but yet it had a real kind of sexual tension about it. Yeah. Camilla Wills, Wimbledon College of Art. It's meant to be seen as a kind of whole, rather than separate things. It's more like an installation um, of different bits to kind of build a narrative, or like a kind of narrative potential. There's the hand, and then there's the meter of Like It's really seen something really important, and a lot of it's quite fulfilling. And like, it's obviously really aspirational for the imagery. And then um, it's all kind of linked. But maybe it's all about like, it's quite a lot about like glam rock, like with the Christmas trees. For some reason, there's a weird connection in my head. A lot of the imagery is really quite old, so uh, most of the paintings here today are from um, early 20th century postcards. It mainly chosen because I, there's a distance to them, so I'm not connected to them in any way. So I like the way I'm just for images rather than a, as a sentimental kind of image. And then that allows me to kind of break it down and dismantle it and disrupt it. image and concentrate on the forms and the more that abstract qualities of what the image contains. Robert Sherwood's theatrical depictions of nature play with perspective and as he explains they're inspired by something close to home. Yeah I mean I wanted it to look like an English grey sky.